With the exploding popularity of Tesla's line of electric self-driving vehicles, they've been paying the way for innovation, positioning themselves as the premier electric vehicle maker. This is an obvious deterrent for Apple, as they have been leading the tech industry in innovation for decades, but have fallen back in recent years. Back in 2014, rumors began to circulate about an Apple initiative titled Project Titan, with over 1,000 employees supposedly working on developing an electric vehicle of their own at a secret location in Cubertino. This project has rocky beginnings and it was rumored to have been shelved for the foreseeable future in 2016, but recent developments have suggested otherwise. Here's what we know about the Apple concept car. What we know There's not much doubt that Apple is working on a car-related project. Details are small and fleeting, but whether it's self-driving software or a full-blown vehicle, the rumor to be dubbed iCar or Apple Titan is definitely in the works. Back in 2015, rumors began circulating that Apple was working on a full-on car that would give Tesla a run for its money. From this to a slew of sensor and camera equipped cars driving around California that were registered to Apple, the anticipation for Apple's take on the vehicle industry began to seem real. There was even a Bloomberg interview with CEO Tim Cook in June of 2017 that affirmed rumors that Apple was developing some sort of autonomous driving platform. Fast forward to May of 2018 when it surfaced that Apple and VW are going to work together on not an autonomous car for the masses, but rather a self-driving vehicle for its employees to be transported to work. While this did affirm that Apple has immersed itself into the industry, is this as far as it gets? A high-ticket case in July of 2019 brought the FBI to grab an ex-Apple employee who was attempting to steal trade secrets and in turn deliver them to a Chinese car startup. The existence of a case like this being filed shows how much Apple is investing into the field, with enough on the line to warrant an FBI case. This new case came despite the CNBC report in January of that same year, reporting of 200 Apple employees in an autonomous systems division being laid off, leading us to assume that the project was now scrapped, but at least now it seems like they simply downsized. Evidence of Apple working on the project a slew of patents have been filed that detail a special in-car lightning system that suggests illuminated car doors and seats that changed based on certain factors. In more detail, this would mean that Apple is envisioning some sort of lighting system that would use fiber-connected LED lights throughout a structure that can transport light around a car while also concealing the source. Coupled with sensors, the results could render an ordinary-looking door that is equipped with display buttons without the presence of a display. This patent definitely sounds cool and legit, but as trends would suggest, this isn't necessarily confirmation that Apple would even use the tech when or if a car is released. Filing future tech patents is a common practice among tech companies, and it doesn't necessarily indicate hard plans for a release. A definitive indicator of Apple's plans to hit the car industry has been its recent hires for that field of expertise. They've hired the likes of Andrew Kim, a senior designer at Tesla, Doug Field, an ex-chief of vehicle engineering at Tesla. Starting to see a trend here. The hiring spree led to a Business Insider report claiming that Tesla employees were beginning to migrate over to Apple. This became clear after LinkedIn profiles of Apple employees began to show histories of Tesla under their belts. All this talk even led to a lawsuit filed back in 2015 that outlined Apple supposedly performing an aggressive campaign to snatch engineers from reputable electric vehicle battery manufacturer A123 Systems. Hard Evidence Apple was awarded a self-driving car permit in California, leading to a fleet of Lexus SUVs equipped with a full autonomous driving technology. This would obviously suggest that Apple is performing tests both in-house and on public roads to test self-driving variables. If Apple isn't working on a car, they've got some serious explaining to do regarding the noises coming from their Sunnyvale campus late at night. Back in 2016, a resident who lives nearby the campus complained of motor noises at 11 p.m. at night that left them restless. Could this be routine construction sounds or the revs of an Apple car? It's hard to tell.
What's the Apple car going to feature? It's still hard to tell since the project is under such security and scrutiny, but there have been a bunch of reports that suggest that we can look forward to an Apple-branded vehicle. Here's what we know based on reports. Automatic doors that open and close without sound. This sounds awfully similar to Rolls-Royce, minus the sound part. Virtual reality optimized interior displays. This takes the simple heads-up display found in many other luxury brand cars to the next level. Sphere-shaped wheels that could let the car move sideways. The logistics of this seem pretty bleak and also raises some safety and legal concern. But it's cool to think about. A more aesthetically appealing system to redefine the lighter systems found in every other car. This one sounds very Apple-esque and doesn't really come to much surprise. It's to be expected with anything Apple-branded. What would it look like? This is all up to our imagination and there's no shortage of concept designs out there. I mean, this is definitely not gonna be an iPhone 4 leak situation where we know exactly what it looks like before it comes out. It's a car after all. And we know Apple will go to crazy lengths to keep the project under wraps until its announcement. As far as pricing goes, looking at Tesla's ranges would suggest enough to predict how Apple might stack up. If they want to be competitive again, Tesla's base Model 3 price tag of $35,000 and its premier Model S at around $60,000, we could predict that Apple might fall somewhere in the middle, clocking in at around $55,000. Launch Date we, of course, can't know anything for sure until we get those infamous Apple event invites and see Tim Cook on stage, but it doesn't hurt to speculate. And there have been many reports of an eventual release. Famous Apple analyst Gene Munster provided one of those reports as a note to his clients back in February of 2015, told us that we should look forward to the Apple car in five years or more, leading us to today, 2020. If any of the events of this year have suggested, that is obviously not happening. But it is a trend for many automakers to spend around five or seven years getting a new car ready for release. These reports were affirmed even more so by a Wall Street Journal report also in 2015, telling of Apple's plan for 2002 being brought up to 2019. That obviously didn't happen, so further reports would suggest a 2021 launch, assuming that the events of 2020 didn't set the project back too much. Well, there you have it, everything we know about the Apple concept car. All we can do now is sit and wait, crossing our fingers for a not-so-far-away release. What are you most excited about for the iCar? Will you consider buying one? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe.